So what do you do if you want to create an interaction, a moderation in Smart PLS 3? It's actually really easy. Um, I've shown in my other videos using Amos um, that you have to impute factor scores and then multiply, and it, it's, it's it's a fairly involved process and in, uh, standardizing and, and and all that. Um, whereas in Smart PLS 3, it's actually really easy. So what you do is um, you click on any endogenous variable. In this case, let's cl click on skill acquisition. Um, and while we're at it, let me delete this path here just for uh, our current analysis. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that innovativeness uh, has a positive effect on skill acquisition, but that that effect, that positive effect is strengthened um, in the presence of CSE, uh, self-efficacy. So the way I do this is I have my independent variable predicting my dependent variable, and I have my moderator, in this case CSE, predicting my dependent variable, and I right click on my dependent variable and go to this one, add moderating effect. And it gives you some options. First, you need to select your moderating variable. In our case, it's CSE. Our independent variable is innovativeness. And we're going to use a product indicator approach. And we're going to standardize the indicators. And we use the automatic weighting mode. Uh, weighing mode, I think that's a typo. Huh. Okay. And then, if you want to know what all that stuff means, you can click here or read it. Um, I'm going to hit OK. Uh, just one note on, on the two-stage approach. Um, this, instead of using product indicators, I should just describe both real quick. Product indicator is where you multiply every indicator by every other indicator. So every indicator of CSE will be multiplied by every indicator of innovativeness. Um, to create some massive latent variable. Um, that does actually make for a more accurate uh, model, although it is far more complex with far fewer degrees of freedom, or more, more degrees of freedom, excuse me. Um, it also assesses error a lot better than if you use a two-stage approach. A two-stage approach does essentially what we did in Amos, which is where you impute latent variable scores um, and then you multiply those latent variable scores so that you have a very simplified um, interaction term. Instead of having, for example, uh, 50, probably not 50, 30 new indicators, you just have one indicator, which is the product of the two latent variable scores. Anyway, that's those two. I'm going to use the product indicator because I can and because it's fast, uh, not fast, it's more accurate. Um, and I'll hit OK. And you'll see what happens here is a new moderating effect is created. Notice it by default hides all the indicators. And here's why. If I go to show indicators, boom, look at all those indicators. So many indicators. It's because I multiplied. I did the product indicator approach. Now, um, if I were to use, again, the two-stage approach, it would only be one indicator. Fairly simple. So. Anyway, let me hide all these again. There we go. We're going to go ahead and run this. I'm just going to go straight to the bootstrapping because I want to see if we have a significant um, effect. Make sure in my partially squares I'm using path analysis. In my bootstrapping, I've got at least a thousand subsamples and I'm doing parallel processing and start. And we'll see if we have a significant moderating effect. Now this will take a while. Uh, that is one downside of the product indicator approach is because we added so many parameters, so many new indicators, uh, when you multiply that by a thousand, it takes a little bit of extra time. So the two-stage approach will be faster, but again, uh, perhaps slightly less accurate. Hooray, it finished. All right. And after all that, what do we discover? Darn, um, the T statistic here is not significant. But just to be sure, let's go to the report. And we can look at the interaction effect. Here it is moderating effect. And the p-value here is not significant. Well, that's too bad. Oh well, better luck next time. But that's all there is to it. Just need to uh, look at the moderating effect and there you go, not significant. If you wanted to plot this, you could. I have other videos for that. Um, but because it is not significant, uh, plotting it is kind of meaningless because we don't know if this effect is any different from zero. 
All right.